Hey guys, in the last video we built these uh, roller skates or roller blades for the character based on Mario's concept and I keep uh, adding more and more um, elements to this model and this is what I have so far. So this is definitely a whip, a uh, work in progress and I still have to uh, add the uh, hair and do the arms but for this video I thought it would be interesting to maybe show um, how would you go about creating this piece here on the wrist so what would be the best way to achieve something like this so there's a couple different uh, methods right one you can just mask it out and then extract it extract it from your mesh um, or if you have multiple subdivision levels of your uh, mesh if you uh, freeze your subdivision levels, right? So if I freeze my subdivision uh, levels on the body and then press control key, um, you, you have a really cool brush called Mesh Project and Mesh Project will allow you to select uh, a few different options. You can use a rectangular, circle, or a lasso. And for the lasso, for example, if I would zoom in on the arm, uh, just like this right and position or angle my camera to, to kind of uh, have the top view and then if I hold on the control key um, I can attempt to draw a shape that I want for the wrist right for the wrist armor so something maybe something along these lines when you let it go you can see the shape uh, automatically creates itself and um, in this case, this something like this, the mesh project, is very close, even with the bevels, to what the concept art is. So this is a great way to add quickly add armor uh, to your characters, right? And it's very clean and uh, beautiful. And it's uh, another option besides just using mask and extrude, right? So um, if I undo this, I want to show you one uh, other trick. So if you don't move the camera, and by the way, if you hold on the control key, it takes you to the brush, right? And then uh, this Z intensity will control the height of the mesh. So if I wanted something much, uh, you know, thinner and smaller, I can do something like a five. And you can see that it's much, much tighter to the skin, right? So uh, if I set it to about 15, uh, in my case, this sort of matches the thickness that I feel uh, that the reference has. So how do I achieve this shape uh, here using the lasso tool? Well, uh, what you could do is you could just draw the basic shape first. So essentially it's just kind of a rectangular shape, just like this. And then if you don't move your camera, right, you can do control and then alt. And then what you can do is you can then further refine or cut into the shape and create more detail that way so it's just something that you can do as long as you don't move your camera right let's say I like this shape right so maybe I'll go with something like this all right very cool so now I can move the camera camera because I'm, I'm happy with this so I'm not gonna slice into this anymore and then now if I grab something like H polish and make it you know relatively large I can find a good angle and just start kind of pressing in and you can see how this uh, starts to straighten up so to get this uh, sharp angle here I can come maybe on this side and just do something like this right and you can see that I'm starting to get this kind of a sharp edge as well so let's do the same thing on this side All right, very nice. So now to make these uh, indentations or holes, let's just use uh, live booleans in uh, here in ZBrush. So, so to create the shape, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my brush. I'm gonna press I on my keyboard. And let's go inside something like the IMM primitives. And in here we have a shape called cylinder uh, extended. All right, so use, let's use this to make these uh, indentations um, that we see in the reference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it right on top of my armor, uh, something like this. 
uh, I can switch to my move brush, I can move it into position, I can rotate it uh, if I needed to. Another thing I can do is to activate the live booleans and to see the indentations being cut in real time. Uh, for that, what we need to do is we need to uh, split this into its own layer. So I'm going to say split on mass and then uh, you will get your own layer for that. And now if I turn on the live boolean button here in uh, ZBrush, uh, the next thing I can do is I can come to my layer and I can click on this middle button right here. And that's going to uh, tell uh, ZBrush that, hey, this uh, piece here is being subtracted, right? So now if I move it around, you can see uh, how that's affecting the uh, geometry of this armor piece, right? Now, if I needed, uh, there's obviously three of these, so if I hold on the control key, I can drag another one. And maybe let's drag one more. So now I have uh, three of them, right? Very nice. Now if I control and drag, you can see uh, what that looks like. And now we have three uh, indentations, just like the reference um, on the uh, armor, right? So uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to uh, share with you guys uh, to take advantage of the project brush and the Boolean brush and create a very clean uh, final result for, uh, for your modeling. All right, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.